What's going on YouTube? This is RJ coming to you with a important video. Now this video, I know it's been a lot of um, other tutorials that have been out there. However, this tutorial is mainly explaining how can you get your chat, your live chat while playing VR. So we just cop we just copied the Oculus Quest 2. Um, I purchased it maybe about two days ago, two, three, two, three days ago. Uh, look through a couple of videos. There are different ways you can have your chat um, from a VR toolkit with the watch. You can look like, like, you know, you can flick your wrist around like a watch or you have the way of just pinning it. Now, this is the best method. This is the best way for, I would say, to make it easier for you and your stream. Um, and I'm going to explain as to why. So I'm going to break down the ways you can do it. Um, but I'm going to tell you guys my favorite way. I'm going to tell you guys and show you guys my favorite way. Like I said before, the VR toolkit, you can use that where you can look at it as a watch or there's the second option, which I like best, which is pinning it to your home bar. Now, the reason why I like pinning it is because you're able to play the games you wanna play and be able to look up and see your chat while playing in that game. With the VR toolkit, you have to literally open up Steam VR plus opening up the VR toolkit, which is opening up two software apps just in, in order to be able to use the toolkit within the games. Now, if you have if you guys got any other ways to show me or or to, to recommend me, how can I do that without doing this? This method is the easiest method, I will say, to help you to be able to enjoy your stream and to see your live chat while being able to play in the games you want to play. Without further ado, make sure you hit the like and subscribe for further content. If you guys got any more questions or recommendations, or if you guys need any more tutorials to provide you with the Oculus House setting up with the stream, I can provide that to you as well the best way as possible. A link will be in the description below. Follow all my socials from the streams to you know my social medias. And you know when we go live on Facebook mornings, Twitch at night, you guys can check that out as well. Or Instagram, the polls, Twitter. Just follow me everywhere you know subscribe to the youtube don't forget that like and enjoy this video so without further ado before we go ahead and get into the vr you want to make sure you have everything set up and what i mean by having every, everything set up is we're going to start with the twitch you want to make sure you have you go to your streamer dashboard so we're going to go to the streamer dashboard i'm, I'm going to block out all my you know what i'm saying my statistics and analytics and stuff like that for you guys you guys can be on business but we're gonna go to the streamer dashboard so streamer manager of course what you want to do out of your streamer manager is you want to open up the pop out chat feature so you just want to be able to have this only thing you want is this you want the pop out chat feature now also what i'm going to show you guys too as well as um how can you see your alerts or how can you know when somebody's following or host or anything like that? This is what I did as well. I went back and I went to stream uh, stream labs and I opened up my alert box. So you're going to launch that too, minimize that. So you're going to have two boxes you guys want to open up, which is going to be the stream labs box for your alerts and as well as your Twitch chat. And that's it now you want to make sure that this is always in the front of your desktop display you want to make sure this is always on if you don't have this on and what i mean by not having it on like let's say if you have like youtube up or let's say if you have another tab up for instance if i was to have this up and the twitch chat and the alert box was in the background of this your twitch chat in the vr will not recognize and sync live so you have to make sure that at all times this is up on your desktop. So just make sure these two are up on your desktop at all times while you have the VR on. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the VR. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up so that way your Twitch chat, when it's live, you can see everything go straight forward. So I'll see you guys over there on the VR. All right, welcome to the VR. This is my VR home, by the way, as you guys can see. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you guys and break down to you guys how to set up everything um, with OBS uh, as well as in be being able to see which chat, your live chats, and so forth. So, without further ado, I know my mic sounds different, but however, 
this is how I use my mic if you guys want a detail on how am I using my microphone my headset well I am I am wearing a wireless headset that works perfectly and I can I can show you guys how to set that up in another video just let me know in the comment section below um, but this is how you would set up your twitch chat live now remember what I told you guys you guys want to make sure that at all times you have Twitch chat up and your alert box up live sees that we already have a tab up already this is what we're gonna do so you have the two tabs open with the alert box and the twitch chat what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to add desktop panel we're gonna go to where twitch chat is at this is going to be my twitch chat this is going to be my alert alert box widget so we're gonna pull up the twitch chat boom that is my twitch chat right there we're gonna move this like a little bit up there so we're gonna put it about right there it's a good it's a good way to have it because when you're facing forward you're playing the game and you look up you can see that your twitch chat is in the air same thing let's go back add another panel i'm gonna add the alert box so now the alert box is up there as well push that back right to the side of it look a little bit of space you know customize it how you want to but about right there is fine for me all right so the final step that what you would do is you want to pin it to your experience and to do that you see these two pins click it pin to the experience pin to the experience i just have the obs up here to show you guys because i'm controlling my obs my vr because we're recording right now so i can show you guys everything so that now when it, when i close out of everything and i'm walking around all i have to do is, is look up and there's my twitch chat even if i wanted to say something i would have to literally go back into it press the home button click on it here only thing we can do in here is view it can't talk in it anything now if you want to do that like i said it's not going to update anything here you want to know why remember you guys you guys have to make sure at all times let's pull up the desktop put my desktop monitor too. you guys have to make sure at all times that the twitch chat must be up just like this it has to be up and highlighted it has to be up and highlighted remember that it has to be up and highlighted let's say if i wanted to say something in here i would go to the desktop view let's go ahead and type something real quick let's just say g g g g g g g g g right enter anything type nothing typed all right hold on keyboard's not working it does this every once in a while now just type emo we'll just type emo for right now uh select the emo all right they go to emotes chat boom so now when i close out and i look up there it is there it is so when you're streaming live it will literally pop up anytime you're playing any game you're playing all you have to do is just look up in the sky be able to see what's going in the chat be able to see if you hear a notification to your headset you can literally be like okay somebody followed who was that let me give them a shout out that is how you guys use and utilize how to stream while being able to use the vr and being able to see chat a lot of questions was asked that i, I didn't know how i didn't know you were gonna be able to see my chats how that's nice what you're doing can you show me that that's how you do that for twitch now for facebook it's pretty much the same thing let's go ahead and open up a desktop real quick back to my desktop over here i'm just going to show you guys through here um let's see if i can make this easier so i think because that's because facebook is a little bit different facebook gaming game is a little bit different you have to go to the live dashboard same as twitch as well so let's try to open up a live dashboard here let's go ahead and pull it up set up live stream you know it's like i'm setting up a regular live stream right all right we're going to set it up here facebook dashboard gaming i think yeah so when you facebook when you go to the facebook dashboard when, you have to, when you're creating your live dash your live mode and all that good stuff what you want to do is you want to go to the gaming tab and you want to literally click on these three dots right here pop out you're gonna make a pop out chat drag this pop out chat to the desktop 
the second one at least let's minimize desktop one now we're back over here on desktop two now remember remember you guys what i told you this is a pop-out chat so with that being said we can make this a little bit smaller it doesn't need to be big at all how small can i make this we should, we should better make this a little bit yeah it doesn't need to be big at all Boom, that's perfect. Now, just like the Twitch, now you see how the Facebook live chat, the Twitch chat, and the Streamlabs OBS alert box is live. Open and monitors too. You guys want to do same thing. We go back here. We're gonna go open a panel. We're gonna go to Google. We're gonna now put in one of these is going to be the Facebook live chat. So uh, let's say this one perfect so now we're just gonna drag this we should be able to make this a little bit smaller we should be able to make this a little bit smaller how can we uh, has to be a way of making this a little bit smaller there we go right there it's perfect and yeah, just a little bit now we're gonna pin it to the experience so Now, we literally have to go back. Now we have our Twitch chat. We have our Streamlabs OBS alert box. We have our Facebook live gaming chat. Now, when I go back to monitor one, let's go ahead and do that. Monitor one. Let's open back up Facebook real quick. Where can I chat? Probably can't say anything right now. Yeah, I can't really say anything to show you guys how it's going to look because I'm not live. With Facebook game, you have to be live in order to chat. I can't really show you guys how it's going to react and so forth there, but you guys get the gist of it. When it's live, you guys can see that it will work as well as how this works. Anytime you're playing in a game, um, I go you know, to the home, now I get to walk around, and I get to look up in the sky and be like, okay, so now I see all my chats here from Facebook game to the Twitch chat if you're streaming platforms at the same time or if you're streaming on just one you have the ability to see live chat as you play any games you are playing this is rj i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said if you guys want more on how to oculus v while streaming i can show you guys a little bit more i've been learning and i've been you know studying a little bit on it so make you guys drop a like subscribe comments see you guys in the streams if you do i hope you guys do tune into the streams but I'll see you guys then.